Hello, everyone. My name is Katie Grady, and I am the Dean of Brandeis International Business School and the Fred and Rita Richmond Distinguished Professor of Economics. All of us at the International Business School are delighted that you could join us for today's event, which is part of our second annual Business of Climate Change program. Thank you, Ben and Alistair, for presenting this Climate Innovation Report. It really is encouraging to see so many innovative innovators and entrepreneurs working on the front lines to combat climate change. And it is our distinct honor today to recognize one of them, Michael Bertoff. Michael is the founder and CEO of GeoOrbital, a startup hardware company best known for making compact electrical bicycle wheels. Michael is also a 2002 graduate of Brandeis University. Today, we are excited to present him with the 2021 Brandeis Alumni Entrepreneurship Award. The Alumni Entrepreneurship Award is given to a Brandeis graduate that best exemplifies the Asper Center for Global Entrepreneurship's values of entrepreneurial spirit and independent thinking. The award was founded in 2013 by Len Asper, Brandeis class of 1986 as a way to recognize and celebrate the success of our alumni who have gone on to become global entrepreneurs. Michael is certainly a global entrepreneur, but he also wears many other hats, including inventor, CEO, teacher, author, speaker, and advisor, just to name a few. Over the last 15 years, Michael has founded and led four startups through their life cycle, bringing two of them to millions in revenue and millions in funding. He has taught and mentored hundreds of startup founders and executives. He has pitched celebrity investors on the popular TV show Shark Tank. And in 2019, Michael's geo-orbital bicycle wheel was named by Time Magazine as one of the top inventions of the year. According to Time, Michael's work is making the world better, smarter, and even a bit more fun, changing the way we live, work, play, and think about what's possible. Finally, last spring, Michael published a new book titled The Evergreen Startup, The Entrepreneur's Playbook for, for Everything from Venture Capital to Equity Crowdfunding. Michael, you have certainly made all of us at Brandeis proud. I'm pleased to present you with the Alumni Entrepreneurship Award. I will now read the inscription on the award. I can see the award in the background right there. Okay, Brandeis University celebrates and honors Michael Bertoff, O2, for his innovation and entrepreneurship in sustainable business. Brandeis Alumni Entrepreneurship Award. Uh, congratulations, Michael. Um, I'll now invite you to say a few words before we start our panel discussion. That is awesome. Thank you so much uh, for that really great introduction. Uh, and thank you for the award. I am absolutely honored and humbled to receive this award for innovation entrepreneurship. And from Brandeis University, nonetheless, where I spent my days innovating and entrepreneuring, but really not in the way that many of the staff there preferred. To all of you troublemakers out there, if there's any students listening to this, keep it up. 20 years later, after you barely graduate, they give you an award for it. So keep doing it. I'm joking, I'm joking, of course. I loved my time at Brandeis. And as funny as it is, I studied psychology while I was there. I feel so needed and useful that immediately after graduation, I ran away and joined the Peace Corps. And I spent two and a half years there helping the developing world find their bearings while searching for my own. I can't say that I found them, but I can, but I can say that I found my passion for service, my passion for entrepreneurship. That is what entrepreneurship is to me. It is service. It is not self-serving. It is giving back to the world with your special ability. It is contributing to the evolution of our species and our planet. Simply, it's the tiny little things that we can all do to make us all greater than the sum of our parts. Being an entrepreneur is hard, like super hard. It's emotionally taxing financially draining. They say that entrepreneurs are crazy poor until they're crazy rich. But we don't chase the money. We chase the impact. The money is the trophy that we get. As we used to say in the Peace Corps, it is the toughest job that you will ever love. 
And as we move through our entrepreneurial journey, it's important to remember that knowledge is not a substitute for passion. It's not the knowledgeable folks that make an impact in the world. It is the passionate ones. Through our startup journeys, we gain the needed knowledge, but unfortunately, we tend to lose the needed passion. We get jaded by the turns and twists in the road. Entrepreneurs are not reasonable, content people. We are hungry. Someone who has the security of money in the bank and support of everyone around them doesn't feel the burn, the need, the hunger, the passion that pushes innovation forward. Innovation is a state of mind. You can't need to innovate until you need to innovate. To paraphrase the most interesting man in the world, stay hungry, my friends. Because when you have a full belly and a reasonable nature, you are no longer an innovator. You're an investor, you're an advisor, you're a mentor. There's nothing wrong with that. But that role is a check and balance to the innovation. Starting up stuff should be the toughest job that you ever love. Thank you.